Hello everyone. So today we will learn how to insert an audio and a video file in our HTML document. So let us begin. So this is Notepad. Inside Notepad, these are the basic HTML tags which we use to create one HTML document. So started when starting with the HTML head, title, close title, close head, body started. So inside body. We will be writing down the code, the statement, which will help us to insert a insert a video or an audio file inside the document. So first, let us learn how to insert an audio file. So to insert an audio file, we will make use of the tag called audio. Audio is an empty tag. We don't need to close audio. So after audio, we will be using two attributes the first attribute that we use is controls and the value of the controls attribute is always controls now what this controls will do now when we display a or a video file or an audio file so there is always a play and stop button which must be available with an audio or with a video file so this Controls attribute will display that play and stop or pause button for me in the web page. So, this is the work of this controls attribute. Next attribute that we are using is SRC means source. So, this SRC we already have been using when we inserted images in a HTML document. So, inside SRC, what do we write is we write down the address of the file that we want to insert inside the document. So, I will show you. There is a file for me which I have already downloaded. So, this is the file which is already downloaded and saved inside my desktop. So, what I did is I selected the file, right click and went to properties. Now, from properties, there is a property called location. So, this location starting from C, I'll just select it and I will copy. This is the name of the file and this is the extension of the file. This we need to remember. The name is song, extension is .mp3. We'll click OK. And inside the inverted commas, we will paste. After desktop, we'll give the slash. The name of the file was song and the uh, extension was mp3. So this is the statement which will display the audio file in an HTML document. So before this, I just will write a statement. This is an audio file. And after that, I will write break. Now this break I am using so that this audio file and this sentence should not display it in the same line. I want to display it separately so I am using break. If you don't want you can exclude break. Break is not compulsory. Okay we are done with this. We have closed body. We have closed HTML. We will click on file, save. I am clicking save because this file is already saved for me. I have saved it with the name called P. So now I will double click. This is the audio file which I inserted. Let us play. Now this play button will be displayed with the help of that controls attribute that we used. So this is the sound. We have stopped. So this is how you are inserting an audio file. Now let us insert a video file. Now the statements will be all same. Now instead of this audio, let us make video file. And instead of this audio tag, we will make it a video tag. Video tag is also an empty 
tag. We don't need to close it. Controls will be there. SRC will be there. But the value inside the SRC will be changed because I'm not displaying the song, but I will display a video. Now, this video I have already downloaded. I'll select, right click, go to properties, then select the location, copy. This is the name and this is the extension. Name is video playback, extension is .mp3. I will paste it. Name was video playback extension was dot mp4. We are done. That's all. We will save it and we open the same file. We will refresh and see this is the video that we inserted. We will play and see. So this is the statement which will help us to insert an audio or a video file. Everything is same, only the tags are different. For audio, we are using audio. For video, we are using video. Now there is one another uh, attribute, sorry, not attribute, a tag which will help us to insert both audio or a video file. We don't need to use separate tags. Rather, we can use only one tag. That tag is embed, E M B E D. But for embed, we are not using the controls attribute. We will see it is playing or not. Save and go to the browser. Let's see, it is playing. The difference is the difference is when we use embed since we are not using control the videos will be automatically played we can stop in between of course but uh, initially there will be no start or play button display okay let us try the same for the audio file let us see what happens I will delete this this was my file properties location okay then here I will paste it song dot mp3 let us click on file save and run and see so this is the difference between using audio or video tag or an mb so i hope the three tags are clear and you can use it while doing your practicals another important point that i want to mention here is Inserting of audio video files depends from browser to browser. For me, it is working all fine, but for you, it may not work even after writing the correct code. It is because of the different version of the browser that you are using. So, no need to panic if your video or audio is not playing. Just look into the correct code. If the code is correct, okay. No need to worry. All right. Okay. I think uh, these points are clear. So we will meet in our next video. So till then, stay safe. Thank you.